tell me why the hell did you decide to do this without asking me? Misha, you already have a lot of problems. You don't need me to be pregnant too. What? You mean my baby is a problem? No, that's not what I meant. Besides, what can I do after what you told me? Is this the police? I, uh, I found a body in the woods. My coordinates? It's a, a forest. Uh, I'm located near Krasne. We must exert our influence on Edita. What do you mean by that? <laughs> we must find her weaknesses and scare her. We must convince her or pay her. We must do everything to get rid of that baby. I swear, I called no one. I lost my phone today. Hey, tell them. Hey, remember that time earlier when I asked you to call me so, so that we could find it? You're a dead man. Get him to the plant. I've been with you for over 10 years. I swear to my- But Bodan told me the place was secure. But this is not about the place or Bodan. You should have checked your security more carefully. That stupid Vitya leaked the information. We have to do something with her. To her brother. And to Vasha. I trust you understand what I mean. We need to do something to her, her brother, and Vasha. I hope you understand what I mean. I eat naughty girls for breakfast. The hungry monster is going to get you unless you get to bed right now. Quick, quick, quick before he comes. Quick, hurry. Will you save me? No, you must save yourself. Now hurry up. Come on, go. Oh, run, mommy. Are you all right? Yes, good night. Tell me if you need anything. You better run, I'm coming after you! Run, Mommy! Lydia knows Volodenko well, and she's ready to help us. And how can you be sure? Yes, but she works for Volodenko. She's a friend of Nastya. Nastya used to work for him too, and it's not like we have any other option at this point. Oh, Komorovsky, we were just talking about you. Don't you know what time it is? We don't work regular hours. But I don't. Wait. Have you found anything interesting about Sichov? The report will be ready tomorrow in the morning. Wait, let's talk for a second. I told you, I'm calling it a night. Come on. Komorovsky, you understand, don't you? It seems like that's all I do around here. But you know that's not what I'm paid to do, right? Give us a break, will you? Go on, tell us. <sighs> he said he was shot in the head. It looked like the shot was at short range. The fatal wound had landed in the abdomen and hit his stomach. Someone had stitched him up, though. He was operated on. Someone extracted the bullet and sterilized the wound. Based on the autopsy, whoever treated him was well-skilled. The stitch was very neat. Possibly a doctor or something. Have a good evening, gentlemen. Could have been a surgeon. A surgeon, sure. So, yes. Max. If you are so sensitive, someone else can do it instead. No, you don't understand. You won't hurt Nastya, her brother, or Vasil. Or what? Or it means we'll be on different sides forever. Do you want that? Don't you get it? Listen. They found Sichov's body. Do you understand what that means for us? That means we're on the verge of falling. So I will handle it myself. What can I get you? Uh, you know, we're just waiting for a friend. We'll order later. All right. No, Vasha, it's all nonsense. Even if... It can't be true. They couldn't force her. It's just not in her nature. I know her. Nastya would never agree to cooperate even if they held a gun to her head. Yuri, you know perfectly well what a gun pointed at your head can make a person do. Or maybe she's in some sort of relationship with Maxime. It would explain a lot. That's impossible. They're not in any kind of relationship. 
Hello, sorry, I'm so late. Lydia Belova. Nice to meet you, Vasilo Stepenko. Have a seat. Yuri said that you're willing to help us with all of this. Are you? Ah, uh, yes, but I'm actually starving. Do you mind if we eat first? Of course. Lydia, I'm sorry, but I need to talk to someone right now. Do you think you can come here now? Um, right now? I'm out at the moment. She wants me to come over. Say you will. I guess you wouldn't be allowed at home anyway. Then I shouldn't have called you. Nastya, don't even worry about it. Uh, I'll try to be there in the morning. I'll talk to Mikhailo and try to convince Sula to come back to work. We are planning a very serious operation. And our chief surgeon has been asking about you. He was going to call. Sound good? Okay, bye. Hey, can you stop that, please? Please? I'm also finding out so many annoying things about you, but I don't say anything. Tomorrow is the parents' meeting at the kindergarten. Really? What are you going to discuss? Some kind of new made-up holiday or an excuse not to go to class? Can you come there with me this time? Or the usual? The usual. I don't know why I even bothered asking. Listen, if I didn't go to work, how will you buy your booze then? Huh? A good wife is always a grateful wife. Is anything wrong? No. Everything is fine. Uh, let's go to bed. I'll keep the volume down. Yes. What? I don't know. It may not be all that important since Max told us to stop monitoring Ostapenko from now on. Cut the bullshit. Tell me what it is. We've just received some new information. think you and your kids can get away with everything? But Halia... This is not about Halia! I told you you're forbidden from seeing Vasha! But I didn't. Stop talking! Be quiet! He is my personal enemy! Is that so difficult for you to understand? I do, but... But it's your mother. She's doing it on purpose. She does it because she wants you to hate me. What do you mean? Can you even hear yourself? Do you take me for some kind of fool? Or do you think I'm going to believe all this nonsense? No, I don't. That is right. You're damn right. You never think and you never listen. Do you really think I need more enemies? I've had enough of this. Tomorrow, you will take all of your things and I want you and your daughter off of my property. I warned you. This is all your fault. I've had enough of this. Yes, Mom, what is it? 
What? What are you doing here? What are you doing up at this hour? You were shouting so loud, the chandelier almost fell. Will you please give us a moment of privacy, if you don't mind? We need to finish this conversation. We shall listen. Stop all this. Sure, she has made a mistake. But you've got to understand that she is also a mother. Stop. Please stop. I have had it up to here with all this ridiculous conversation. I did not raise a son who speaks in this manner. Yes, Solena made a mistake, there is no doubt, but she could not resist. Of course she wanted to see her son after so many years. If I were her, I would have done the same thing. There are very few things that can get in the way of a mother and her children. Since when did you start to defend her? It doesn't seem like you at all. Because as a mother, I'm on her side when it comes to these things. Misha, I am sure Olena didn't mean to trouble you this much. Isn't that right, Olena? All right, all right, all right. You look into my eyes and listen to what I have to say. You've had your visit. If any harm comes to me because of it, you're going to regret it. Make sure this is for the last time. You should be grateful. I definitely saved you. Of course. I owe you my thanks. And let's not argue anymore. At least not until we can get rid of Edita completely. Oh, hello. Hello. You couldn't sleep either? Yeah, I've got a headache. I wanted to take a pill. Uh, I'm going to the garden. I'll go for a walk or something. Get some okay, fresh air. Okay, see you around. How yeah. What's happening? Are you giving birth? How yeah. How yeah. My baby. Try not to scream, okay? Don't scream. You've got to try. Please don't scream. I know, I know. Just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. Yes? Anastasia, I'm sorry for disturbing you, but can you come with me, please? Where? Did Max send you? No, fortunately, he doesn't know. It was Olena who asked me to come and find you and to bring you to her as quick as possible. All right. <laughs> Just breathe. Like this. Help me. Take a look at this. Please help her. Oh, my God. Okay, breathe. Deep breaths, slowly. Exhale, slowly. And now inhale. Come on, exhale. We can take her to the hospital. If Maxim finds out, we're dead. How long has it been since the last contraction? A minute, maybe even less. The ambulance won't make it. She'll have to have the baby here. Darina, go to the kitchen. Bring some warm water. Uh, uh, we'll need a pail. Uh, and get some towels. Uh, uh, a couple of blankets. Please go. Just be careful and make sure that no one sees you. All right. We're going to get ready to push now. Deep breaths and push. You're doing just fine, just fine. Okay, my baby, my darling, my little girl. Come on, come on. A little more. You're okay. You're doing fine. Push, push, push. Just push. breathe. Push, 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 baby. Push. Tanya, have you seen my slippers? Will you always come back that late? 
Tanya, you know I'm working. Once I throw Vladenko behind bars and get all his family, I will be coming home earlier. So where are my slippers? Are you going to sleep in them? Yes! What is this? Well, you'll never guess. It was a prize. I was in the mall today and they had this raffle. I bought something and had a ticket and I ended up winning. You're telling me you won this? Yes. You know I never bother with these things, but for some reason this time I did. And this is exactly the kind of thing Danya was asking for his birthday. This can be his present. Well, you need a better hiding place if you want to hide from him. The bleeding has stopped. She'll be fine. Look how adorable he is. Is he like his daddy? The baby seems to be alright, though it's not my field. We will still need to show him to a specialist to be sure. And Haya must see a gynecologist. Today, if possible. Sure. I'll take care of that from here. You must be tired. Go get some rest. And how are you feeling? I feel like I've just been hit by a truck. We'll handle the rest by ourselves. Thank you so much. Let me help you, at least to get Haya to her room. It's okay. Don't worry about it, plus Maxim could be looking for you. It is very, very important that you tell no one. Mother and child depend on it. Of course. Mom? What are we supposed to do now? Good boy. Hello? Anyone there? They hung up. Caller ID says Anastasia. Your wife? Her name is Anastasia, isn't it? The great medical surgeon. I've heard about her. Why did you do this? Just for fun. Isn't it fun? It's not funny, Zoya. Some tea? You told me you met someone. I thought you were special. But you're just like everyone else. You're a cheater. You lie all the time. Why did you tell me those things? Like I'm not ready for something serious. Instead, you should have said I'm not ready for anything serious with you. Zoya, I wasn't lying. I really wasn't ready for a serious relationship at that moment. And she changed everything at once? It was an accident. Calm down. Shh, 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 shh. I'm a married man now, and I really don't want to cheat on my wife. It's an accident that I'm here in the first place. I'm only here so I could feed the dogs. Please don't call me anymore, and don't come here. Look, I'm really sorry if I hurt you. Max. Goodbye. Great. Just great. Asshole. Yes. Good morning. What's going on here? What do you think you're doing? What's the matter? Stop shitting me. Don't say you don't understand. You've gotten the proof with the reports. I've got to draw the line. Where did you get the body? Hold on. What did you say about the body? I left the report laying on my desk last night when I was finished. And I'd left it there. This morning, the report's gone and the body is missing. 
Wait. You're telling me you didn't take it? Yes. We've resolved the issue now. How? Does that even really matter? Max, you're a genius. <laughs> How did you even do it? <laughs> Nothing extraordinary. I'll tell you later, okay? Of course, no questions. Now you leave my wife and brother alone. Of course, of course. Thank you. Wait, why don't you have breakfast with us? Thanks, but I'm busy. Open wide for the choo-choo train coming in the tunnel. I'm sure she'd rather eat without all that nonsense. She's a big girl now. Your dad is very strict. Why don't you show him you can use a fork? Mommy? Yes? It's so much more fun when you're feeding me. I like it. Thank you, my darling. What are your plans for today? Are you trying to control me again? Leave the controlling to me if you don't mind. Your husband has a lot of work to do. Already eating, I see. That's good. Oh, my head's killing me this morning. Magnetic storms, I've got headache too. No, Elena, I'm pretty sure it's not storms. I couldn't sleep all night. I had a dream, some woman was crying and screaming, and I was running around the house, but I couldn't find her. Let me look up what that could mean. Here. A woman screaming means... There's shocking news coming. As if I haven't had enough shocking news. Aren't you tired of that nonsense? Do something useful. It's nonsense. Lady is here. Belova? To see me? No, Nastya. Call her. Hello, good morning. Lydia. Hello. Good to see you, Lydia. How are you? Sit down and have some breakfast with us. Thank you, but I'll just have coffee. Mm-hmm. I'll get it for you. What brings you here so early? Tell me. We've got a new patient. Tumor in his brain. Mm -hmm. The chief surgeon would like for Strelaska to perform the operation. I have no doubt. And he sent you over here to tell us that, did he? Not really. The chief was going to call Nasia this morning. I wanted to know if there's anything I could do to assist her. Of course, if you don't mind. It's a very interesting case. Well, sure, I don't mind at all. <laughs> As if you can't make it without her. Nasia is the best. Mother, please. I guess I should be going then. Better make it back. Or else the chief surgeon will assign another assistant before I even get there. Thanks for the coffee, I have to go. Of course. Nastya is in her room upstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Have a good day. I can't even begin to tell you how bad it is. The body gone, the bullet missing. Whoever it is even managed to change the autopsy report within the system. They even changed the photo documents. Now it looks we never had a body to begin Who with. Who else knows about this case? Me, of course. Sledsky and forensics. Me and Yuri didn't have access to the damn case. I want everybody who knows about this case in here right now. I've called them in. Are you lost? I guess so. It happens. Don't be shy. Go on in. Go in.
So, please sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Go ahead. <laughs> Lydia, tell me, how do you know that Nastya lives here now? Uh, well, she... she told me yesterday when we talked. You called her? Ah, oh, yes, of course, that makes sense. And tell me, why didn't you ask her if you could assist her when you were with her on the phone? <sighs> I wasn't comfortable to speak such things on the phone. I wanted to talk to her in person. Ah, in person. That's good. I guess this means that... that you're friends now. Her and I have always been in good terms. Well, isn't that nice? That's nice. I want to know what you'll discuss. Okay, I have no problem telling you. I know you. you'll tell me, but I... I want to make it easier for you. Here, take this. What's this? A bug. Can you put it in your pocket, please? Okay, if you insist. I do. <laughs> Good job. Good job, my dear. Go ahead. Go, you'll find her in the garden. You can find the way there easily. Where are you going? Lydia's visiting me. What do you mean? Why? Because she's my friend. Sometimes I want to talk to someone normal. Well, you tried calling me this morning. What, am I not normal enough for you anymore? That's different. I just wanted to know where you were last night. Hmm. That's interesting. You didn't ask about the woman who answered the phone. I don't have to ask about something I know about already. Yes? Lydia Belova is here. She's waiting in the garden. Make me a coffee, please. But I still think you're hiding something from me. You could have called me at night simply to talk. At night, everything seems darker and more sad than it is during the day. Though this place is always like hell. Yes. I can see that you're not happy here. Nastya. Please tell me. Tell me what you saw when you went instead of me. Was it something terrible? <sighs> okay. Don't tell if you don't want to. After all, I'm your friend, not a detective. Thanks. Yuri asked me to help. I agreed to do it. But if I do it, I'm going to need your help. Okay, sure. What can I do? I can't hear. Can you make it louder? Nikita! God damn it. What's wrong with you and that damn bug? Misha. Nowadays, it seems that any equipment can malfunction, especially if it's so old. Make it louder. Listen. I still can't hear anything. Everyone who's at work today is ready to come in. Everyone who isn't will be here within the hour. Okay, great. Well then, let's get started. There's one more thing. Before we go, one of our forensics didn't show up and didn't answer my calls. Leonid Pavlov. Do you have his address? Yes, it's on file. He's not there. The neighbors said that he and his family left. They packed up all their things, left in a taxi. So we need to find the taxi. But we pretty much got our guys. Ooh. 
That was really scary. It really felt like there's someone was watching me the whole time. Did you talk to her? Yes. Judging from our conversation though, Nasia really must have seen and heard something terrible in there. She can't even verbalize it. Either that or she's too afraid to say anything. We got a pretty good idea of what it could have been. What if she comes to the clinic? Somewhere safe. Maybe then she'll tell us what she saw. Do you think she'll say something then? It's possible. One more thing. While I'm in there, Mikhailo made me wear a bug. He wanted to hear my conversation with Nastya. Well, do you have it? No, I threw it away. Well done. Do you remember what it looked like? I think so. We need to find an identical one. One that's broken. We don't need Volodenko to suspect you. Come on, let's go. Did you talk to her? Yes. I must go to the clinic. It's important. Why? Because my patients are there. I can't leave them like that. Why not? You can take a day off. Wouldn't it seem strange? Why? There will be rumors about your family. Do you need it? Aren't you smart? I guess you can go. But I'll take you there myself. Finally, the whole family is complete. Mikita's not here. He's acting so strange today. <laughs> Shocking. Where's Halia? Uh, Halia, she's not feeling well. I have to go. She's been feeling unwell so often lately. I think we should really take her to your clinic for a checkup. We're going there after breakfast, so we can take her if you like. I honestly think it's just her nerves acting up again. You know how she can be. She needs help, but maybe Nasia wouldn't mind checking on her. Please think about it before you leave. Of course I don't mind. Halye is in her room. You seem to take every opportunity to get away from the family, even in the middle of a meal. I am so happy you're so understanding. <laughs> what awful manners. How are you? And where's the baby? Go away. Please leave me alone. Lie on your back. I need to check your belly. Come on now, please. <laughs> your temperature is okay? <laughs> but you should still see a gynecologist. What if something goes wrong? I don't care. Halia, please don't say that. Halia, is Detective Ostapenko your brother? How do you know him? Please leave me alone. I just want to die. Leave me alone. He said himself that he knows the Valdenko family very well. I don't understand. What's my fault? I made it so the police found the body, as we agreed. Where's my money? I did my job. You will get your money once we know what you did was actually worth it. When it's over with Volodenko. But I did everything you told me! Cut it out. If you want the damn money, then find a way to speed up the process. You know, I've got Volodenko on speed dial, and I could call him anytime to tell him it was you who set him up. <sighs>
Good morning, family. If I could all have your attention, please. I have an important announcement to make. Is it shocking? See, Mom, right on brand. <laughs> How should I start? Well, meet Sonia. What is she doing here, and with a baby, no less? Didn't I tell you that I don't want to see her anywhere near us? Well then, this might change your mind. This is my son. Oh my god. Mom, are you okay? Congratulations, Nikita. I see you're a regular Casanova. Who would have thought, huh, Max? My blood pressure. Nastya, can you help? Seems like Mom is not feeling well. <sighs> I guess it makes sense, if you think about it. When you drove her away, you knew she must have been pregnant. So it's natural she gave birth. <sighs> what a piece of work you are. I gave her money to have an abortion. I dealt with a doctor myself. And what did she do? We're so sorry, Andrew Hina, but Sonia is here now. Do you mind if I carry him? Would you take a look at this little baby? Hmm? Yulia, take a look at this. You used to be like this too. Cool. Did I suck on my thumb yes, too? Yes, and you had the same little pink nose. Shut up, you. Nastya, let's go. You don't like it? Is that better? Why didn't you tell me about one of your relatives? Is Vasil Ostapenko your brother? He's the one investigating your family, right? You could be a great writer with such imagination. What are you going to do to Yuri? Don't worry, no one is going to hurt Yuri. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? Nastya, I've had enough of all your stupid questions. Then give me answers. I won't stop. Hey, hands off! Never do that again. Vasil Ostapenko is my brother. He has his own business, and I have mine. He's always been a cop, and that's that. I see you're doing well. Family business. Vasil is an honest cop. And too honest, I'd say. When it comes to Yuri, he'll stay safe as long as he sticks with Vasil. Наши жизни меняют порядки, брат, как сам все нормально. Брат за брата, по жизни друг за друга, на деле много. Настя. Юрий. What are you doing here? I know you're being held here against your will. Nasha, please. Let's end the story. All you have to do is find the evidence. An eyewitness testimony will be enough. You can be rid of all of this. You can come with me to the station right now. Max is outside. So what? You don't understand. Nasha, don't be silly. Do you want me to arrest you? Come on. It's all useless, Yuri. Oh, then they took our son away. Mom gave him to Nikita. Olya, please, did you tell anyone about us? No, no one. Help, what do we do now? Calm down. Calm down. I promise you everything will be fine. But when? You only promise, but you're all talk, you don't do anything! I am doing something! I promise! I'm doing the best I can! I can't take it anymore! Calm down, please! Please don't cry! <laughs> Just rest now! It's gonna be okay! Everything will be fine! I promise you! <laughs> Nothing will be fine! How can you say it will be fine? It won't be fine! <laughs> Halia? Who are you talking to? Is that a cell phone? 
Where did you get it? Who are you calling? No one. Who is this Bodia? Hmm? Bodan? Is he the father? Oh my god. This is worse than what I thought. <laughs> Have a drink. Nastya. Believe me, I understand that you're scared. Do you know that we found Sichov's body? We know that he was operated on before he died. We also know that you were the one who was forced to do it. Nastya, if this is true, I really need you to confirm this Right now, please. This is a safe place. You're in a safe place where no one is watching. Take your time. Okay. That's great. So. Let's start with a call to the site of an accident. Hello, Yuri Andreevich. It's very nice to meet you. May I ask you why you are interrogating my client? Your client? Who sent you? Was it Rinchuk? See, you are making my job very easy as it seems you understand everything. Yes, you are correct. I am the Volodenko's family lawyer, the family of which your sister is also a part of. Which is why I'd like to hear the reason for you arresting my client today. His name is Anastasia Strelitska. We found a body, and we have all the reasons to be questioning her right now. What body is this? As far as I know, there is no proof of it, nor is there an actual corpse to speak of. This essentially means you have found nothing. Now hold on, how do you... <laughs> Yuri Andreevich, let me remind you one ancient saying. No body, no investigation. My client is free to go. Look after yourself. She will be well taken care of. Don't you worry about that. Have a nice day. 